Hi, I'm Erica Gammon, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to put type along a path or on a shape, which can be anything from an angled line, a squiggle, a circle, or really any other shape in InDesign. To start here, I have a couple of paths that I've already drawn using the pen tool and the ellipse tool. I also have some text standing by. First, I'm going to copy the text to my clipboard using Command or Control C. Now I need to access the Type on a Path tool. It's in the Tool panel, hiding under the Type tool. Either click and hold until you see the flyout menu, or you can Option or Alt click right on the Type tool itself. With the Type on a Path tool, roll over the path that you want the text to follow. You'll see the cursor change from the I beam to an I beam with a little plus sign. Now just click, and in this case I'm going to paste, and the text follows along the path. Text frames along a path are just like any other text frame. With the selection tool, I can see the actual frame itself. There's an in port where text flows in and an out port where the text flows out. You can see I have overset text and I'd have to take the same steps to fix or flow the text as I would with any other text frame. Now I'm going to paste the same text into the circle. I select the type on a path tool Click on the circle, and then hit Paste, Command or Control V. My type is a little off balance, so I'm going to select the text. Here, the Type on a Path tool acts just like the Type tool, so I'm just going to triple click to select all my text, and then I'm going to set the alignment to center. I know it doesn't look very centered. It's because it's centered on where I clicked on the circle but I can also adjust the in and out ports of the text on any path. It doesn't have to occupy the entire path. I'm going to use the selection tool, select the frame, and grab one of the ports and move it. That way I'm telling InDesign where the text frame begins, and also I can tell it where it ends. If you don't want to show the path that the text is sitting on, just select the path with the selection tool, and change the stroke to None. I copied and pasted text into these examples, basically so that you didn't have to watch me type. But remember, Type on a Path works just like any other text frame. You can type, paste, or flow in text from elsewhere. Well, I certainly hope you found this tip helpful. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and to subscribe to our monthly publication, InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.